I'm trying out another new game on the channel, Age of History 2. I think all you peeps who like the Country Battle Royale series are gonna love this. Almost every single country is on this map, including every single state. Yes, including the small ones. And a lot. What, what? Well, Alaska's here. I don't know why it doesn't have all the rest of the territory, but that doesn't matter because we're gonna be doing something. And yes, of course, Hawaii. I'm sure you guys know what this game is, but if you don't, basically it's gonna simulate the entire world killing each other. And the game can go for a long time before one actually wins. And so the game is turn based. And I'm just gonna stop the video at 3,000 turns. Whatever the leaderboard looks like at the 3,000th turn will be who wins. And so here comes the twist. If I go to options down here and I click on random placement and random fill and then go on over to play, now the world has been shuffled completely. Every single country has a new spawn location as well as random borders, including the states. Utah's over here. Same with Maine. <laughs> What's in Europe? Northern Cyprus, Turkey, Chile's over here. Serbia's up in the north. What's in North America? Ukraine, French Guyana, whatever reunion is. Spain's down in their old colonies. Louisiana, Oregon, Vietnam. I don't know about you guys, but I just get so excited about this. So let's get this show on the road and definitely let me know in the comments if you guys want to see more of this game because I think I'm going to post more of this game anyway. So uh, yeah, and the war has commenced. Turn two, turn three. <laughs> Nothing's happened yet because nobody's decided to attack anybody yet. I got to find Idaho. Where's Idaho? If you don't know, that's my state. That's my home state and I want it to win. Here's Idaho right in Portugal kind of area. That's not a bad spot to spawn. So some countries are going to get super screwed over <laughs> where normally they would have a lot of land. Like if they spawn the, uh, like Michigan down here, it's poor, oh, poor Michigan on this little island nation. Then of course there's all the Pacific islands that like Colorado's over here. Oh, poor Colorado. Kosovo's over here in Papua New Guinea. <laughs> North Korea, dude. North Korea is fighting Bangladesh and Bosnia for Australia. Who's on New Zealand? Angola. Oh, it's just beautiful. And so when you zoom in, if you haven't seen this game before, it's so cool. So basically every single number you see, that's their military, right? Every country has a population and they're able to draft people from that population if they need more soldiers. And then like you're seeing here, they're actually able to move the soldiers. And I believe it's literally just a one-to-one -one who's going to take what, you know, if a country is 50 soldiers and then the other country is 25 in order, if the attacker attacks them, then the attacker takes takes that territory with only 25 soldiers left. I think that's kind of how it works. So like pretty simple, but it can get very in depth as you can see all these graphs and stuff, which we might as well look at right now. So Spain is actually first with 80 provinces in North America. Second up, we got Slovenia, Estonia, Portugal, and then the Philippines. And then all of the other countries all the way down until the ones that are dead, which uh, no longer have any provinces. So like Ohio. <laughs> Finally, we got rid of Ohio. Oh, not Wisconsin, South Dakota. Okay, a lot of the states. Massachusetts, Illinois, Alabama. Oh, wow. And then whatever that country is, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is either. What's Pitcairn? I just love this because it makes it fair in a weird way. Obviously, different spawns are um, more advantageous, but the fact that it's random placement makes it fair. So it's just like an entire world battle royale, but it's fair. I've wanted this for so long. Afghanistan's huge over here in Siberia. Madagascar's up in Manchuria. Israel's vibing. Northern marina islands <laughs> Italy's still in Europe, but the, the new Poland. Michigan's not doing too bad. Dude, Idaho's doing so good. Guys, imagine if Idaho won. Oklahoma, Norway, <laughs> Fiji. <laughs> Florida's in the middle of Africa. Senegal and Georgia. Georgia and Louisiana are taking up whatever is left of Brazil. South Korea's down here as well. North Macedonia's the new Argentina. Kansas is up in Alaska with Singapore. What? Ukraine's not doing too hot anymore. Algeria's up here whooping. Same with the Maldives. Armenia's looking mad fine, dude. Spain has the majority of Central America trying to fight out Arkansas. I don't think Arkansas is going to win this war, dude. I mean, they have 2,000 troops right there. It's all moving so fast. No way, dude. Spain has way more troops. Sorry, Arkansas. Oh, get wrecked, dude. Get wrecked. It's very possible Arkansas navally invaded. They might still be alive, as well as there could be rebellions in this game, which is another reason why it could take so long. So if your state or country, whatever you're rooting for, gets out, they can actually come back. Looking at the leaderboard now, Armenia is now in the first place, followed by Estonia, Slovenia, Spain, and Ethiopia. Congratulations to whoever lives in those places. Here's Estonia they don't actually look that big but when you zoom in they have a ton of provinces and of course this region of the world is just highly populated which makes sense why they're so high up on the leaderboard oh Cyprus is getting huge dude Ethiopia is pretty much claimed to all of Turkey Slovenia is on the side of Idaho dude get out of here oh no the Philippines the Philippines attacking Idaho get out of here the Philippines that's right take it back Idaho yes sir kick him out of here they're trying to navally invade from the UK <laughs> They got London, dude. Get out of here with them British Filipino people. Idaho and shall rule the world. Armenia is uniting the entirety of North America, which is definitely scary. Singapore looks huge, but a lot of these territories that it owns are pretty weak, which I think this is still Kansas right here. <laughs> somehow still alive. North Macedonia is doing really well for itself in South America. So is Tajikistan because it owns pretty much all of Chile as well as what? All sorts of countries up in here. I think it's pronounced 
Sri Lanka? Lanka? I don't really know how to pronounce it. Tell me in the comments. But they're doing very fine, dude. They might be first place right now. In fact, let's check. So yeah, they definitely are. With 199 provinces under their control. Next up being the United Arab Emirates. I don't think I've even seen them. And then Spain. Wait, where did Armenia go? Is Armenia no longer here? What happened to Armenia? What? They're the kind of darker yellow. I can't believe they got shrunk down that much. Mississippi's down in Florida area. <laughs> I guess good for Spain, dude. They're doing mighty fine for themselves because they're all the lighter yellow. It's kind of it's kind of hard to differentiate. Oh, dude, the United Arab Emirates, the second place or whatever. They're the huge like gray one. What is it? What is this color? Brown? Either way, they're massive and cover a huge part of the map. Russia's in Central Europe somehow. Idaho's still alive, which makes me happy. But uh, uh, if anything, it's only shrunk. Oh, and it's being invaded. Oh, uh, well, this gray is all Austria right here. Whoa, they're mighty powerful, dude. Nevada's got Madagascar. <laughs> Oh, look at Luxembourg. Whoa, they're going on a conquest. Luxembourg, without a doubt, did shoot up to the... Oh, holy crap, they just got... De wow, they just got devoured. Wyoming out of nowhere. <laughs> Vermont over here in Southeast Asia. Kentucky. <laughs> it's just funny seeing what countries are where, dude. What? Malta's just mad vibing in the middle of Africa. The big purple pink one. Now, one thing about this game is uh, the border gore. <laughs> really makes me want to pull out my intestines. No, not Idaho. No. Don't peace out. Peace out with Idaho still alive. So when you see the lines that are um, serrated, uh, what would you call that? Just the, the lines. Yes, Idaho. Idaho's coming back, baby. It's like claimed territory, but it's, it's like occupied territory where they haven't solidified it yet i think technically there could still be a peace treaty where idaho can go back here unless they just claim it all i guess um that sucks <laughs> Dang it. Meanwhile, Wyoming over here. Holy balls, dude. If Wyoming can unite this entire region of the world, they are like, oh, and here comes the United Arab Emirates somehow. They must have just peaced out after a massive war. And the United Arab Emirates, oh, frick. Catalonia over here, bro. Slovakia. A lot of countries are struggling. Like, Ecuador looks big, but they're definitely not high up on the leaderboard. Like, look at that. Just because of the regions that they take, since it's the Mercator projection of the world, you know, it's it's not actually that many provinces. Looking at the leaderboard now, Kyrgyzstan, Kyrgyzstan. Uh, is in first place with 242 provinces next up is wyoming <laughs> And who says Wyoming is not real? Portugal's third, Colombia's fourth, and Austria's fifth. Spain's been bumped down to sixth. Rough, dude. Singapore in the North America is slowly but surely claiming more and more land. They got most of the west of the United States. Oh, they got some rebels breaking out. Oh, Colombia's mad vibing, dude. They even have their original country's borders. They're at home in South America. Louisiana's pretty much all of Brazil. <laughs> They're at war currently with North Macedonia, which seems to be struggling with troops right now. Oh, maybe they could push them back? I don't know. How is Austria down here? Wait, Austria's in South America? as well not only are they taking out a ton of africa oh they're getting rid of all wait what what country just disappeared they just super just wrecked a country austria is huge dude the uae continues to hold a firm grasp over asia except for here comes kuwait from the north oh same with ecuador holy crap and north korea is uniting all of australia <laughs> Yes, yes. The father country. Ho ho cam. Is that a country? Is that real? Is that a real country? Here comes Spain just just surging itself north, taking over a ton of land. Slovenia, Turkey, and Italy all dividing up Europe. And then there's Hungary in here too. With the Botswana pretty much holding over the UK. Botswana and Hungary, rather. And who's this? Is this California? California's vibing right here. <laughs> what? Portugal's huge, bro. That's epic. Oh no, Florida. Hold on, Florida. No, Florida. <laughs> No! Malta just killed Florida, I think. They are in deep debt, though. Mississippi and Spain are at a war. For a second there, Mississippi had a huge hold over the northern portion of Spain. But here goes Spain pouring in all of their troops. No, Mississippi. No. Fight back. Fight back. Oh, wh what just happened? Arizona's just vibing over here on Hawaii. I don't know if they have any other territories other than this. Oh, dude. Hungary's in Africa as well. They're kind of, they got their hands in Scandinavia, Central Europe, the United Kingdom, and Africa. <laughs> what? Dude, cut. Catalonia, what? Holy crap. Catalonia, oh, they're huge. <laughs> Tanzania is doing pretty good for themselves as well. Sri Lanka is still around. They're they're still fighting. <laughs> so is Vermont. <laughs> if we look at the scoreboard once again, Wyoming is in the lead by a ton. They have a ton of land in Europe and Asia. Next up is Italy, Portugal, Austria, and then Spain. Where Kansas is actually the weakest of all of the still alive countries right now. But it beat out all of these other countries. So, I mean, is it really in a bad situation? All the way back here, British. Oh, British Malaya. That's not the United Kingdom. And it goes wyoming with the highest population of any other country on earth this is just so cursed that's that doesn't make sense if you're not from america wyoming is known for being the least populated state do even half a million people live in wyoming meanwhile they're dominating the world by far <laughs> 
<laughs> Yo, New Hampshire over here. Did I say what? I like how just random states are showing up. They may have been there forever. I just haven't seen them yet. Palestine over here forming a whole Byzantine empire. We need Italy to reform Rome. Oh, snap. Italy and Slovenia are at war, dude. And they got this crazy choke point they're going through. Louisiana taking almost all of South America. It's literally split between Louisiana and Colombia right now. And then some other random ones. Oh, no, Malta. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Who's this other one? North Macedonia. Dang, dude. They used to rule a lot of this continent. Even North America, it's really coming out of Spain and Singapore. There's still a few, like Finland. <laughs> and what is this? Korea? Is that a country? I've never heard of some of these countries. Because since we hit Shuffle, all of like the random tiny little islands that nobody knows about in the Pacific have just had a chance to like become one of the world's superpowers. Uh, Malta may have been kicked out of South America, but they're still mad vibing in Africa. Oh no, Catalonia! What just happened to Catalonia? What? The map's bugging out. What happened? <laughs> Portugal just went through and killed it. Oh, they're back. Kind of. Maybe. I don't know. Por Portugal's not gonna let them stay, dude. They're trying to regain some of their territory. Oh no, they had they had a civil war. The rebels. And here comes Portugal pushing them out again. If Portugal can secure this, dude, holy crap. They are powerful. Israel's back. Since when? <laughs> what? Whoa, whoa, oh, whoa. No way, dude. Arizona? They just th did like a naval invasion from Hawaii over here, attacking Singapore. <laughs> what? They're trying to go through the one. They're trying to claim a ton of land on North America. Looks like Singapore is just going to kick them out again, maybe. Yeah, there they go. Get wrecked, Arizona. Shoot, man. If Singapore comes over and tries to navally invade Arizona, they have no shot at defending. That was like their whole life savings saved up. They just got kicked out. Oh, no, wait, they're still here. Oh, and they got kicked out again. I want Idaho to come back. Come back to me, Idaho. Wyoming is insane. If you were curious, we're currently at turn 2,212, and the leaderboard is now with Wyoming still in first place. Portugal's in second, then it goes Spain. Spain, Italy, and Austria. So really not much has changed. Louisiana's in six, Colombia, Singapore, Tunisia, and then Tanzania. And then it's a ton of smaller ones that still have a chance. Like North Korea's up here. <laughs> All right, 800 more turns to go. We'll see if any big boys collapse or if any small guys become the big boys. Any Nevada fans out there, you're still alive. Just chilling in Madagascar. Same, West Virginia's right here. <laughs> I'm thinking, what? West Virginia's just mad vibing, dude. These islands are N New Hampshire. New Hampshire's here, guys. <laughs> Actually, New Hampshire's not even doing that bad. They have a ton of provinces on Africa here. I don't know what Bar Bargawada is. Oh, Peru's still here. Kind of. Who's still alive right now? There's so much death happening right now. It's really the top dogs are cleaning up. Like, look at Wyoming. This is the cleanest their borders have looked in so long. And they're taking over the China regions. Going all the way up to Manchuria. The Dominican Republic. I haven't even looked at Japan, dude. Catalonia's mad vibing over here. That's how they're funding this war, dude. It's Japan. Because they have Tokyo. Oh, snap. At this point, North America is literally Singapore spain and some one of finland that's pretty much it and then just like south america it's down to louisiana colombia australia has been claimed by north korea the border gore is slowly going away europe and africa are still a huge mess as well as eastern asia 500 turns to go dude europe has looked pretty solid here for a long time everybody for the most part just kind of accepted their borders colombia is right here what what how however this isn't pieced out did they just invade oh and italy's back at war with slovenia <laughs> I don't know how Slovenia could even fight back against that dude. The Italians have so many troops. Oh, there they go. They might actually successfully kick him out. Oh, no, here comes another naval invasion. Now Italy kind of has to split the forces, maybe. I don't know, dude. That's a rough war because Slovenia has other territories where they could bring troops from. Whoa, what's happened over here, dude? Oh, no, Wyoming. Don't collapse, Wyoming. Wyoming, don't, please. <laughs> Fight back, Wyoming! Just send your armies in, dude. Squash them. There we go. Good, good, good. Portugal's kind of collapsing, or at least it's struggling. I mean, kind of. Is it really, though? Or is it just some quick uprises that'll tear down immediately? Liberia has the Philippines. Egypt hasn't done much this whole game, but it does have these two islands, which is cool. The fact that it's alive is good. Oh, Spain is invading Louisiana. Oh, snap. Spain's bloodthirsty, bro. Why don't you attack Singapore? Why? Luckily for Louisiana, I'm sure they have a ton of troops down here. Or maybe they have zero. Where are all... What? Oh, they're all in the south, because they just pushed out Spain. I'm done. I'd be shocked if Singapore didn't have troops on their border. I guess, I guess they don't. Maybe they have an alliance. That's very possible. Tunisia and Wyoming are all intermingled right now. This is the worst border gore. Oh, Nevada's made it off of Madagascar, taking over Ethiopia kind of area. Somalia? Austria's on its way to take over all of Africa, bro. Because it's also got this huge section here. Cook Islands? What? Is that a country? They're just like cooking up food? All right. And we have 100 turns left. Let's look at the leaderboard. Oh, Portugal jumped up to number one. Then it goes Spain and Wyoming's been bumped down to third. 
No way. Austria is still in fourth, and then Louisiana is actually in fifth. Whoa. Let's see if these countries can keep their position for the last remaining turns. Catalonia is doing their probably their final push. 100 turns is not many turns. Dude, Portugal's getting screwed over, I think. Poor Port P Portugal, no. Catalonia. Oh, maybe they could fight them back. They got 30 turns left, dude. No way. What else is going on? I don't even know. Wyoming seems to be stable. Italy's stable. Spain seems fine. Louisiana seems fine. It's really just Portugal trying to fight for their life. And when I was talking, we actually went 11 turns over, but that's fine. And here's the final results. Spain takes the number one spot. Wyoming's second place. Italy's third. Austria's fourth. And Colombia's fifth. And then it goes Turkey, Malta, Tunisia, Portugal, and Louisiana. Out of 366 countries, only 87 are still alive. So congratulations to all the ones that are alive still. <laughs> Again, let me know if you guys want to see more of this game. I'm going to post more any, uh, whether you guys want it or not. Goodbye.